We started our drive to Lake Louise super early. It's a 10 to 12 hour drive and we wanted to get there before the visitor center closed so that we could collect our Parks Canada Pass. Yeah, it doesn't look like it has a lot of snow. We made it on time to the visitor center, collected our passes and headed to the campground. All done, Matchuk. All done. Are we happy with Let's the campsite? Super happy. It's a, re it's a regular campsite, actually. <laughs> we come here so many times that that is our favorite campsite. Alrighty. We got settled in at our campsite, had dinner, and called it a night. because we lose an hour or because of the time change and then we sprung forward today so the actual time is 6.48 oh well we will be heading to the resort see you guys there There goes Mona. Oh my god. This looks like a black rat. It is a black rat. Let's see luck. Terrain for us, and where is Machuk? That is Machuk coming down. I think he is. And he disappeared. Maybe he'll jut down.
Hey, there's Mona. We're gonna head to the top. It's uh, looks not too windy up there, and there's a there's a trail to the backside that we'll take from there. But anyway, onto that lift. Hey, Mona, say hi. Hi, but I'm freaking out about this traverse. And when I was freaking out about this traverse. We're at the top of Lake Louise. This is the only blue run down over there. So that's what we have to take. That's what Mona's freaking out about. Getting some really awesome, really awesome weather and views. Magic, what are your thoughts? Do you think I'll be able to ski down this? Yes, one way or another you're getting down. <laughs> okay, one way or another I'm getting down. Alrighty.
Good morning. It is, of course, Wednesday, the March 13th. And our plan was to do another day of skiing. And we were debating between Sunshine and Lake Louise. But obviously, it's the 13th, my favorite number. And look, this morning, this happened. We have, I don't know if you can see, but there is a big crack which starts here and goes all the way across and uh, up till there so instead now we are waiting for it to be eight o'clock so that we can call some of these repair shops and maybe we'll have to go i hopefully we can get it repaired in banff or today. we will have to no we have to get it repaired today because tomorrow we are yeah. going to the lodge checking into the lodge which is in the middle of the mountains but um yeah so either it'll be banff or we might even have to drive all the way up to calgary let's see what happens not a great start to this day anyways but let's see keep you posted bye we tried our luck at a couple of repair shops in Banff and Kenmore. We have to order them in from Calgary. Oh, is that right? So, so you're, you're not stocking any yeah. bottles in stock? Okay, that's good to know. No, I just bring them in as I need them. Our deliveries are ready at Calgary. I ordered it not before for the next day. Oh, okay, so you don't stock anything? After trying our luck at a couple of repair stops in um, Banff and Kenmore, we decided to just make the drive to Calgary. We spent rest of our day at the glass repair shop waiting for our windshield to be repaired. See? No crack! No crack! How cool is that? Yeah. Happy with the results, we made the two-hour drive back to Lake Louise and called it a day. It is day five. It is March 14th. Our anniversary is tomorrow. So we are headed to Skokie Lodge to celebrate our 11th anniversary. It is eight o'clock right now and it's around uh, so the plan is we go check in and then they give us a pass for the gondola. So we take the gondola up, we take a chairlift down and then we hike 7 miles and 1500 feet to the lodge in the middle of the mountains. Hopefully it will be a good day, a good two days. Anyways, see you guys okay. later. Oh man, look at this. This is we are approaching the parking lot. Oh man, look at that. Ah. Great start to the day. This is gonna be a great hike today, man. Clear skies, my jug. Ah, nice. Okay, nice sunrise over the parking area. We're about to check in for our lodge hike over here so we're waiting for the check-in to open but uh yeah enjoying the sunrise for now we checked in signed a waiver got our parking permit and parked our car at the ski resort mona is getting our day passes to take the lift up and down to, to the beginning of the, the hiking trail. And uh, we're checking in right now.
guess. Putting it in my fanny pack. Okay. Alrighty. Up and up we go. I am stressed about taking the lift with these packs. Here are our packs with my snow shoes. These are my jugs. Let's see how we do getting up on the lift. But right. it'll be fine. Get behind us. about to take the other lift down but the view today is just amazing oh man look at that that is the lift we are gonna take down now okay my truck ready ready all right this is the first time we are actually going down the ski lift. Patrick, what do you see, feel? <laughs> Interesting. Can you point out? That is the pass there. No, no, no. 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 It's behind us. Okay, it's behind us, Patrick says. But and don't try to. Okay, that is us on the lift going down. It's a crazy feeling. I'm actually scared. Yeah, but it's okay. kind of, I kind of have the fear of heights. <laughs> what? Just. Okay, my check is too scared. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, we're inside the uh, temple lot. Mona is getting getting her pack on, and we're getting ready to go. I told you. Okay. So, so we're hiking up the ski trail. Yeah. This is called Marmot. This is one. And we're gonna be. Here, I see some signs here. Mona, I already told you I saw the signs. Okay. okay. Mona just discovered the signs that I pointed her to. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. That's our road. We're gonna follow those backcountry skiers. And uh, right there, that's the sign that we're going the right way. And Mona's off. We don't need snowshoes yet. It's pretty well packed down right now. Might need them later over the passes. Let's we'll see. Okay, the trek begins. there in the distance I don't know if my finger is pointing there but over there is the halfway hut alrighty we are halfway to somewhere not to the lodge anyways looks like we are at Boulder Pass because how do I know? Because there are all these boulders here. That's Machuk coming up. And the view is just spectacular. This 
is the top of Boulder Pass. I think that there is the lake, Tarbajan Lake. Not get over how pretty it is out here. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Let's get Machak. That's the Tanbejan Lake frozen. And that's Machak. And behind him is the Boulder Pass. We came down from there. But this place is a beauty. Oh my god. Just amazing. There is our second pass called the Deception Pass. Though they call it deceptions, I'm guessing there's probably more elevation to gain. So we're gonna go Kuchu up there. I'm guessing there might be a little more elevation after that. But yeah, that's where we are headed. Super sight. What a beautiful day. I just can't get over how pretty it is over here. Just awesome. We are at Deception Pass, so highest point of this hike, and it's just spectacular valleys on both sides of us. And uh, there's Mona. That is right there. That is the back goal of the Lake Umiski area. You can see the mobiles a little bit. And there's one ski up there. And it's we're gonna follow that and down into that. And uh, the lodges down over there, probably in the tree line. But uh, yeah, enjoying some cold mountain wind and sunny, just awesome visibility, just great. All right, we are going that way. It's beautiful. That's one cabin. I think they have three cabins. Ona doesn't put makeup. That was sunscreen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we checked into our rooms, cleaned up enjoyed an appetizer of soup and some beer and chilled out for the rest of the evening. <coughs> Next morning, we woke up super early as usual, had our coffee and breakfast, got dressed, Fought with our snowshoes and decided we need to invest in some touring skis and headed out for our adventure around the Skokie Mountain. We thought we'll do the waterfalls and the loop but changed our mind and decided to do just the loop.
just have to go to that this juncture and see where more tracks go. You know yeah. What I mean? Yes. That's the one that's more power. Yeah. I don't want to say right there. Yeah. I mean, right looks more recently followed. I don't know, right looks more followed. Look here. But look here. This is all, but I don't know, it might be the wind also. Let me show you. Let me show you the map. A few moments later. So what do we do? The right trail was right by that rock in that way. Go around the rock trail. But go back there. To the rock. You have to go directly to those woods on that rock. Okay. I'll show you. Okay. But right now we're taking one way around. Okay. You know, let's aim towards that trail there, the other one that we didn't take. See straight ahead, you see the trail? The ski track straight here. Yeah, so let's go there. No, let's go diagonally this way. But follow, let me. Be. Yes. Breaking trail is hard. What's that? I don't know. Sounds like cracking ice. Let's go on that trail. I guess at least go to the edge here. Slow. Huge overhanging cornices. Yeah, it looks pretty stable, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we just have to make it. Yeah. Have another until we get over it. We ended our day with some drinks and a hearty dinner at the lodge. After spending two beautiful days at the lodge, it was time to pack up and leave.
schedule I made on the way in is still there. Temple Lodge was in full-on spring mode on our way back. <laughs> 